Hey Sag, how's it going? Um, we're going to go ahead and hop into your reading. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe to the channel if I do resonate with you as a reader. And if you would like to continue watching this, your extended link will be in the description as well as at the top of the comments, all right? Okay. And you have to forgive me, I'm eating a piece of candy because I'm a little nauseous. I hope that doesn't irritate you all. You know, sometimes people point out the smallest things during the reading. Um, but anyway, Sag, let's see what's happening now, okay? <clears throat> Can you give me... Um, wow. A lot of cards coming out. Can you show me Sag's love interest? In the connection with Sag, please, Universe Source. Can you show me Sag's love interest in the connection with Sag, please? Okay, the dolphin. That's beautiful. So, whoever this person is, they do feel um, a deep emotional connection to you. They're feeling very like drawn towards you emotionally, spiritually. Um, and whoever this is, they do represent somewhat of a blessing. This could be a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But they do represent like something um, very special. And they do have this energy of like a new beginning, a new start. Okay, associated with them. Hmm. Can you show me the cosmic egg wanted to come out for you, Sag? Can you show me how this person sees Sag in the connection? Okay, the otter. Hmm. Whoever this is, they may know that you don't see them coming. Okay, you don't, you don't, uh, you're, they may know that you're unaware of, the, of them, Sag. They see you as a very like happy, go lucky type of person. You're coming up with water energy as well. Otter is somebody who's very much in the present. Um, and they also, you know, you do come up very, I get a mysterious energy with you, with this black egg. And then with the unicorn, I do feel like this person looks at you like a, a, someone who's very rare type of person that they've never really encountered before seen before they may even question like you know are you real is this really how you are um possibly like a, a too good to be true type of energy all right Can I get a tarot card, please, for what's happening with Sag and their love interest right now? I do feel like whoever this is, like they're planning on possibly doing something here that's going to make you very happy. Tell me what's happening here with Sag and their love interest, please. The High Priestess. So more water energy, cancer energy. Hmm. Yeah, something's being 
manifested behind the scenes. That's why I kind of get like, for some of you, this could be a brand new person that you're attracting or they, they could just be newer. It looks like there's some sort, like there's a divine connection here potentially between you two with this high priestess energy. And again, you know, I feel like she's holding the fruit. That's the blessing that I'm picking up. You know, this person has something for you, but you're unaware of it. It's the high priestess, okay? Show me how this person is feeling in the connection with Sagittarius. How is this dolphin energy? Judgment, the five of pentacles with the eight of cups. Hmm. Either they are feeling as though there's been something here that, that your love interest has had to walk away from. You know, there's been a decision made to leave something behind. It could be that moving forward with you, Sag, there is another um, experience that they're having to move away from. Possibly this person may feel like in the past, if this is somebody coming back around, they've left you out in the cold. You know, this could be your energy. You were feeling left out. You felt as though you had to walk away from this person. Okay. Um, show me how sad he's feeling in the connection with their love interest. Okay, so you have the four of wands. I also have the three of pentacles too, I see that. Hmm. I think this person senses that you might be happy elsewhere and they could be right. You know, you could be experiencing happiness in another connection that you're already in. For some of you, this is with an Aries specifically. Hmm. Cause you're, you're feeling, it looks like you're feeling good. Like you're, you know, this is a celebratory type of energy. This could be you, you know, spending the holidays, you knowing that you're going to spend the holidays with your love interest. If it's about this person specifically who I'm picking up on, they, they may be having to like travel to move towards you and you, you could be getting excited about that. Um, how does this dolphin energy want to continue the connection with Sag? Yeah, this person definitely wants to communicate with you. I do feel like for a lot of you, this person is having to distance themselves, even block somebody else, block out the past, make a decision to block the past 
and they're they're kind of they're seeing how they want to move forward with you with the two of wands mm -hmm. i think whoever this is definitely if they're not communicating they want to talk they want to make things clear to you they want to have an honest conversation They may want clarity on, you know, where you stand, what's going on with you. And then show me how Sag would like to continue romantically with this dolphin energy at this point. How would Sag like to continue? The five of cups, five of wands with the lovers. Hold on one second. How would Sag like to continue? Five of Cups, Queen of Swords. I definitely feel like Right now I see you all, it looks like you, you're doing something tough. You're having to, you know, stand your ground here. And, and maybe you do want to have some sort of difficult conversation with this person. Um, you know, it looks like you do want to make amends to a certain degree. I look at this five of cups, like it, it is making some type of offering. To who this is you know i think that you may want things to be fair you want to make things right with who this is if some of you feel guilty about uh something going on here you may want to you know apologize to this person Yeah, you're definitely adamant though. Like right now, you don't want to like make a move towards them. I see that. You have the nine of wands, four of swords. I don't feel like you want to make a move towards them. You're more so, you know, you want to do the right thing. You want to say the right thing. You, you may you may need to like recover here. This is a lot of recovery type of energy. Nine of Wands and the Four of Swords. Yeah, and for I mean, if those of, for those of you that do want to move forward with this person, I think right now you're just more so you're waiting to hear from them, and you're hoping that you know they do come towards you. And you all can have some sort of conversation to make things right, set things straight. And I think they do want to have an honest conversation with you as well. That's, excuse me. That's what I'm seeing so far. Okay, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. If that resonates and we're gonna pull on we're gonna start seeing what we get into in your extended sorry if that was loud so this is where we talk about hmm. all right so already the cards are coming out your hard work is paying off new moon and capricorn which we're about to go into so the next phase that you know or everything that i see happening next is about to happen like very soon like Right now, okay, you could be expecting new communication coming in, new solid communication. I think we just entered Capricorn season. Um, should 
show me how Capricorn, I mean, not, <laughs> show me how Sag, Sagittarius is love interest, how they're showing up in the connection with Sag. Next, how's this person showing up in the connection with Sag? Next, how's this person? Okay, all right, so you got the zebra. Yeah, I do see this person coming in, communicating. Zebra is a, a visionary. It's very Aries. It's someone who I feel is action oriented. So I feel like I do see this person taking some sort of like unique action towards you, doing something different, possibly showing you a different side to them. Um, and show me how Sag is coming up in the connection. Ooh, you come up as the wolf, earth energy. So, hmm, very serious. Mm-hmm. Um, wolf energy is like alpha leadership. We need to do what's best. We need to do what's best for everyone. This is very much like very traditional. Let's, we need to follow by the rules. We need to do things in a certain order. We should not deviate from that order. This is how you're showing up next in the connection set. And can I get the Oracle message? Let love be your guide. Live a life from love, guided by love. It's gonna be a part of your advice in the extended, okay? So, hmm. Okay, well, we're gonna continue on Vimeo. The link is below in the description, top of the comments. We're gonna talk about your advice. We're gonna talk about outcomes. We're gonna talk about what this person wants with you, okay, overall. Um, like, what would they like the outcome to be? And uh, we're going to talk about, dive deeper into what happens next here between you two. Alrighty, and what energy you should tap into to get, get the best outcome here. So, Sag, I'll see some of you over on Vimeo. Like I said, the link is below in the description, top of the comments. Thank you so much for watching your reading. I love you guys. Be safe. Take it easy. Good luck with everything. And I'll see you soon. Peace.